way to Seoul right now. It's about 9 a.m. Probably gonna spend the whole day there by myself, so I thought that I would vlog this just in case any of you guys are traveling to Seoul by yourself. I'll also be sharing how much everything costs today, which I think might be helpful as well, just so that you guys can have a reference. So yeah, hope you enjoy. sure a lot more tourists here. I came on a Wednesday so it's actually not too crowded plus it's 10 a.m. but I'm looking for the Netflix grandma because I really want some kagutsu and I never tried it here so I want to see if it's worth the hype. Oh, look at the line. Guys, I finished that whole bowl of kalguksu in like 5 minutes. Okay, it was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I think the part that made it really good was the fact that it was handmade. I just don't know if it's worth the hype. And I also recommend try coming on the weekdays before lunchtime so that you can beat the crowds because I came at like 10.30 and there was still a line but it wasn't too bad. It was still cool to see the Netflix harmony because although she was really busy, she's super hardworking and she was just really kind to all the customers so I think it's worth a try. Okay so now I really really need coffee so let's head to a cafe. and the lighting is really bright there's plants literally everywhere I feel like I'm sitting in the middle of a forest everything is so aesthetic and on point they also serve brunch here so if you want to dine here you can do that as well it also smells really good in here because of all the plants I love that there's a lot of space there's a downstairs and a second floor Alright, now that I have some caffeine in my system, I'm feeling like doing a little bit of shopping. I'm in the Hongdae area and if you guys aren't familiar with Hongdae, they're really known for a lot of street shopping. And Hongdae is really cool because they also have street performers and a lot of times they're really good. So I'm gonna show you guys this block that literally sells rows and rows of clothing. One of the reasons why Hongdae is so affordable everywhere is because it's actually right by a college. I recommend going near where the schools are because that's usually where you can find the most like cute, trendy, affordable pieces. the shopping area and as you can see behind me all of these shops are full of clothes, accessories, bags, shoes, anything you could think of. There's also photo booths so it's really fun to wander around the street. with all this walking around and shopping. Got a few things. I'll do a haul at the end of the video. 
I'm out of breath. I'm going to this four-story stationery shop here. Oh my god. Which way is it? This way. Okay, so I'm not gonna stay in Hongdae for much longer. Hongdae also becomes really lively at night with all the performances. There's a ton of Korean barbecue options here as well for really cheap if you're into that. It's nearing dinner time and I'm getting pretty hungry so I'm gonna head towards Insadong because there's this restaurant that I've been meaning to go to for a really long time. which literally translates to drug tenjang soup basically a saying for when something's really addictive in Korean so this is kind of like a traditional way to eat this you scoop it out and put it all into a bowl after you move everything into this bowl they're gonna pour water in here and that's basically gonna make scorched hot rice So I'm back from my trip in Korea and I thought that I would end this video with a collective haul of everything that I got. I did do a bulk of the shopping while I was roaming around Seoul by myself but I did pick up a few things here and there so I thought I would just do a collective haul of everything that I bought. First is Olive Young and I will only share the skincare that I got because all of the makeup that I purchased in Korea were recommended to me by my personal color analysis. Now if you watch my glow up in Korea video, you'll know that I went to get my personal color analysis and based on my recommendation, I purchased everything that my personal color analysis told me to get. So I'll skip the makeup portion of it for now since I mentioned all of the makeup stuff I got in that video. I did pick up a few things that I'm really excited about. The first being these pads from Mediheal. I've seen this all over TikTok and usually I'm not a fan of TikTok recommendations. This one was plastered as a top seller all over Olive Young, so I had to pick it up. Also, I just love that they always give you like a one plus one deal in Olive Young, so they gave me a free refill for these toner pads. This is meant to be used day and night and it's supposed to help with textured skin, blemished skin, or even red skin. The pads are also pretty large, so I'm thinking about using it as a toner all across my face and then leaving it on for like 5-10 minutes and peeling it off, kind of using it as a sheet mask. Sunscreen is so big in Korea, so I got two of their top sellers in Olive Young. This one is by Round Lab. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little swatch here. The consistency is really light and you can tell how easily that blends into the skin. Very hydrating, really doesn't smell like anything. They also gave me a little mini one. Like this is why I love shopping in Korea. Like you get all these little freebies. So it's basically like you're saving a lot of money. And this one is all the rage on TikTok. And I could see why because I did open it and I tried it on my face the other day. And as a primer, it's amazing because the makeup doesn't like pill or anything. It's just like... You see how easily that blends in. Again, no sunscreen smell. And the key ingredient here is rice. It's really great for brightening, toning the complexion, and overall giving it a healthy glow. And again, 
buy one get one free in the box that sunscreen was also plastered all over all of young i noticed that i don't really do much to care about like my neck as much as i do for the skin on my face but this is a collagen neck cream it has a gua sha roller on it too so basically you squeeze it out roll it around your neck one thing that i am noticing is that the texture is really thin so i don't have to worry about it like feeling sticky all throughout the day and i think it's just really good to reapply i've heard a lot of good things about this so i'm excited to see if it actually makes a difference in preventing neck wrinkles the only face mask i got is this one i've seen it in so many different like korean shows and celebrities have been using this a ton of influencers also use it this mask was actually pretty expensive i think there's two in the box and i think it was like 15,001. but it's unique because this mask you're supposed to leave on for about 40 minutes so i'm excited to see if it actually does anything first i got these socks from thursday island the design is so cute i think they'll be really nice to pair them with ballet flats or loafers got this design and i also got a darker design Speaking of ballet flats, I picked up these pale pink flats. I like these because they're not your basic pale pink ballet flat. If you look closely, they have a sheen. And I thought it was very unique. I wore them out for the first time, I think a week ago, and it's actually pretty comfortable. And these were not expensive. I think they were like maybe $35. I went to Numbering, which is a jewelry store that specializes in a lot of high quality silver jewelry. I visited their standalone store in Seoul and picked up two pieces. The first thing I got is this pearl and silver bracelet that's layered and the hook is actually this clothespin style i love that they paired the pearls with the silver beads got this long teddy necklace but if you look closely the teddy has crystals on them it also moves which i thought it was really cute that's what it looks like there's a really really popular bag brand that all the it girls are wearing in Korea called Stand Oil. No lie, every time I was out and about, I saw at least a couple people wearing Stand Oil bags. The design that I picked up is this mini clam bag. And I fell in love with the color because it's silver but it's more of a muted silver. So I love that it's a little bit more wearable than 100% silver color bags. Obviously, it doesn't fit much. I can probably fit a lip gloss and my card wallet, my keys, and AirPod, and that's probably it. But I fell in love with this design because it's just so cute. It comes with a long strap. I got a locket keychain. They have a little comb attached to the heart locket. And this heart locket actually opens to reveal a small little mirror. It's magnetic, so it just shuts like that. Everyone is now putting key rings on their bags, and I just thought that trend is really, really cute. So I picked up two in Korea. This first one is a black bunny wearing a blue pearl choker so cute to hang on any bag honestly it just matches with everything and i also got a little white bunny wearing a bow tie on its head and it's wearing a little chanel bag okay so something i noticed in korea especially is that all the caps that they make are very deep so it covers more of your face i picked this one up i feel like it's a pretty basic design this is actually from this is never that i like the color and i don't have a dark gray hat so i picked it up I like how it covers a lot of my face so when I'm walking and I don't want anyone to see me, I could just wear this. I also picked up this one from Gold Studio which is a sportswear brand and again, it covers a lot of my face which I really like. I picked up the cutest little outfits for Maui because even the dog clothes are so trendy in Korea. This one is a cute plaid outfit for when she's feeling cottagecore vibes. And since winter is coming, I picked up this puffer jacket for her that has a little floral design hood. It is so cute. Super random, but I picked up jellies. Apparently, this is really popular in mukbang back in like 2020. They come in a lot of different flavors. I actually had to order this off of Coupang, which is basically Korea's version of Amazon because it was pretty hard to find in store. So let me try this out on camera. This is the mango flavor. So all you're gonna need is a toothpick. In case it explodes, I'm gonna put in a little bowl. Mmm! That is so interesting. 
but it tastes good that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys had fun exploring seoul with me i had fun shopping and showing you everything that i purchased so i hope this was helpful for you if any of you are planning to go to seoul anytime soon if you have any questions for me in the comments make sure you leave them down below and i will see you guys next time bye